Hey, what's up, you guys? What up, man? Really, you know, you guys have played the Pistons a few times, you know, this season. I just want to ask you your thoughts on seeing Jeremy Grant kind of develop into this role. You know, you had a path as well where you kind of had to work hard to reach a certain level. What have you felt about seeing him kind of get on this level of, of becoming like Detroit's go-to guy? Um, man, he's uh, he's been playing very well. Uh, you can see he uh, worked in his game. Um, he's helping his team uh, win games. He's doing everything for his team. You know, score the ball, uh, rebound the ball, pass the ball. Um, you know, guard defensively. Uh, he's been having an incredible season, and uh, he's just a product of hard work. And uh, when you see guys like that, you gotta recognize it. Um, you know, I remember from uh, his Philly days uh, when he came to the league and um, how hard he worked to be in this position and uh, he got to keep going. Uh, but yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's way better. He's way better this year. Zora Stevenson. Hey, Zora. Um, you know, Tiffany on the defensive end, specifically tonight, was clear. You had a couple steals. Drew had three, I think. How do you balance like wanting to create turnovers but also playing sound, kind of safe defense, if you will? How do you balance kind of taking risks and then not getting? Uh, you know, you just you know, as a defender, you just try to stay solid. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard though to stay solid when you see the ball and you you believe that you can get it. Uh, sometimes you gamble, and that's what basketball is about. That's what life is about. Uh, you know, there's gonna be days that um, you know we're gonna get quick fouls. We're gonna try to gamble. We're not gonna get it, and uh, they can break down our defense, get a open three or an easy layup. Uh, but there's gonna be days that uh, the ball is right there. You gonna you know dive to get it, and you are gonna get it. And um, you know, I think we have guys in the, in this team that uh, they're really good in that. Dante, Jewel, myself, uh, Tenace, a lot, a lot of guys in this team that uh, they can do that. But um, we try to stay solid as much as possible. We try to keep guys in front as much as possible. Eric Dave. Uh So I noticed you hit the Tony Snell play with Drew Holiday uh, earlier tonight. And I'm curious for you, just what has it been like to kind of get the trust with Drew and to try to get him to be aggressive and, and shoot more? I know he just said, you guys are always telling him, like, you got to shoot, just stop passing so much when you do shoot more. What has that been like to try to encourage him to pass and be more aggressive? Or to, to shoot and be more aggressive. Um, you know, it's easy. You know, we just talk to him, tell him uh, to be more aggressive. Uh, he's a player that uh, he can recognize the game and he knows what he can do. Um, and uh, he's always ready. He's always ready. You saw um, going to the fourth quarter down, down the stretch, like he was able to get to his shots, um, create his own free, create his own uh, main range shot, um, create for for others, he's always ready, he's always going to be aggressive, but uh, obviously you got to understand that like, this is a new team for him and uh, I think everybody has done a great job encouraging him to shoot the ball more, to go downhill more, to uh, to be loose, to be to be free, um, and that's what we want him to do. But as a, as a player, like you can see, you can tell he's always ready and uh, he's ready to take shots, he's ready to create for his, himself. He might go two quarters without taking a shot, and all of a sudden he can, you know, calm down and uh, make four shots, five shots uh, for himself and for others, great for others. You know, after, earlier I was asking Bud, and Bud had said, you know, you only see him two times a year, so you don't really get to know him all that well. Have you been kind of surprised to see, you know, just how tight his handle is, just how good of a passer he is, how much he can create? Like, has getting to play with Drew now kind of been a surprise to see just how much he can do offensively? I knew he was good. I knew he was really good, but uh, like every day I play with him, uh, uh, you know, I realize how much good of a person he is, good of a teammate he is, and uh, how much better he is than what I thought. You know, um, you know, I knew he was a good defender. I knew he was a solid, solid uh, on offense. But no, he's uh, he can be a good go-to guy any 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 night uh, of the week. Uh, and we want that from him, you know, and um, he's been playing great, he's been playing great. Last one to Jim Ozarski. Yes, uh, well you mentioned how good a person Drew is. What, what, is that, what does that mean to you, I guess, when a new guy comes in like that and he's expected to be such a good player? 
but as you learn about him as, as a man, as a husband, as a father, like what is what does that do for you? What does that mean in, in the bigger context of things? You think? He's just he's just fun, you know. It's fun to uh, come to work every day, and uh, you know have a guy that always has a positive energy. You know, uh, and it's good, it's good to you know get to know somebody like that. It's good to have guys like that around. But as I said, the most important thing is that when you get to work every day, when you come to practice games, show that on, and he's uh, he's a part of it, and uh, he's a good uh, person, more than he's a good player. It's 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 fun. You enjoy you enjoy playing with a guy uh, more than you uh, you want to do the extra. Um, Extra play, extra hustle, extra screen, extra whatever for him. Um, and, and just finally, uh, there was some big NBA news in the Eastern Conference before you guys took the court with the trade in Brooklyn and Indiana. Uh, your reactions to that, and, and clearly Brooklyn is trying to do something there to, to really make a push to win the East. Um, I'm not on social media, so you got to tell me what the news are. I have been... uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn acquired James Harden from Houston. Wow. And Indiana traded uh, Victor Oladipo to Houston, and, and uh, you know some other little pieces moved around in that way. But James Harden to Brooklyn was the big kind of news. Yeah, you know it's a it's an amazing uh, move for Brooklyn. Obviously, uh, they got better, way better. Um, you know, and uh, they're really powerhouse right now in the East, uh, having KD, James Harden, Kyrie Irving um, together in one team. You know, that's that's tough. Um, but at the end of the day, we gotta focus on ourselves, and uh, we gotta keep uh, improving, keep playing good basketball, and uh, moving forward, we'll you know we'll see how this is gonna end up. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thanks, guys.